You haven't even finished a rough cut, anxiety is building up and you're trying to find a way to finish your video faster. But it's already too late and you end up with a bad video that won't get any views. I don't want this to be a real story, so stick with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how to edit videos way, way faster. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Mobile Vlog and probably all of us struggle with time. Editing eats up a lot of time in our video making process, especially when you're just starting out. And as a content creator, you need to have this skill. And just by following steps from today's video, you will be able to 5x or even 10x your video editing process. The number one tip may sound a little obvious, but I found that many creators partly or fully ignore it. To edit videos faster, you need to have the right footage on your timeline. But how do you understand what is the right footage? That's right, you plan your video. You cannot speed up your editing process if you don't have this structure in mind to follow. So even if it's something very simple like a vlog or you're talking about bananas, either way, create a structure and a plan. In the ideal world, you should create a storyboard, but on YouTube it is unnecessary in most cases. So just a simple step-by-step -step structure is more than enough. Once you have a structure and a plan, now you can follow this plan and avoid shooting extra footage that will eat up your time on editing. Suppose you don't even have a simple script. In that case, you will end up messing around, playing with your camera, shooting extra minutes or even hours of footage. This will cost you extra hours of editing. It doesn't mean that you have to follow every word in your script exactly. Definitely leave some room to improvise. Imagine your script as a highway and imagine improvisations as a country road. You know that your highway is is smooth and you know where it's heading, but you can't say the same thing about a country road. It's messy, but fascinating at the same time. So it's better to follow your main road knowing where it is, therefore you can always turn to a country road and come back to your highway at any time. I really hope you get the idea because it's very important. Number two, use the correct codec in your camera. Some cameras have codecs that are very hard to edit even on powerful computers. So before you invest a significant amount of money in a powerful computer, think about your camera first. For example, H.264 and H.265 codecs are both good for editing and uploading to YouTube, while the Red Code ProRes DNX HD are pretty heavy codecs and you might want to use proxies out of this footage for a more efficient editing process. Let's say you shot your video in ProRes, you convert it to H.264 proxies just for the editing speed, then while you finished your edit, you turn off the proxies making it ProRes again and then you render the whole thing. You should also avoid variable frame rate in your camera because it's a nightmare. You know when you shot something on your iPhone, you move this footage to your computer and there's this 25.04 frames per second. You will need to convert this footage to a constant frame rate. So if you can change this setting in your camera, definitely do it. This will save you a ton of time. Use presets. This might be your color grading presets or maybe your transitions and animations that you use every now and then. Presets are really handy because you don't have to do the same thing over and over again. That's why the Movie Video Editor is perfect for quick video editing. The interface is intuitive, all the basic tools you might need as a beginner are already there. Also you can get themed Movie add-ons to adjust the built and media collection to your own taste and needs. The Movie effects integrate into the app which makes applying them very convenient. I recommend you to take a look at the annual plan. It might be a very good option for a beginner, its price is lower than the price for a lifetime version and you get 12 month access to all the features and updates which is enough for finding your own editing style. And when your subscription runs out, it's completely up to you to decide whether you want to renew. Basically, it's just more convenient than starting with complex and expensive software for pros. The one-year subscription to Mobile Video Editor Plus will be available at 15% off by the link in the description or pinned comment. So feel free to hit the link and share it with your friends. Once you have your presets ready for use, you should start thinking about your assets. These are some digital elements for your videos like pictures, graphical elements, music, sound effects, and so on. It will speed up your process a lot, especially on YouTube because you don't want to spend time looking for new music every time you edit your video. And the same goes for every digital element in your video. You download it once, then create a folder for it so you can quickly 
access this footage every time you edit your video. Not to mention that on YouTube you have to stay consistent with your style and you don't want to jump from one graphical element to another, you should create a system that works. So make an assets folder and a few subfolders for your convenience. Use shortcuts. This tip alone will dramatically speed up your process, if you will learn to use them correctly. When you avoid using shortcuts, just manually clicking with your mouse, over time you will get used to it and think that it's the fastest way of editing. It looks like a small thing, but it might save you hours. And here are my favorite shortcuts in the Movavi Video Editor Plus. Ctrl N or Command N for Mac users to create a new project, Ctrl O to add some new clips to the timeline. You can hold Ctrl and click on the left or the right arrow key to jump from one second to another. Or you can hold Ctrl Shift and move twice as slower. You can cut the clip using the shortcut Ctrl B and you can add markers using the shortcut Ctrl M. These are not all the shortcuts available, but you get the idea, shortcuts might be a lifesaver when it comes to speed. Oh, and don't forget to use the right mouse, because you can assign to it some extra shortcuts. A mouse like this Logitech mouse that has lots of buttons. You can quickly cut your shots using one button and delete them using another. You can basically do whatever you like. So combine keyboard shortcuts with mouse shortcuts and now you're a superhero. Eliminate distractions. Distractions like notifications on your phone and noisy workplace. While you edit, you should be focused only on this task. Humans are really bad at multitasking. Therefore, limit your time on editing. Close the door, set your phone aside and focus just on editing. I recommend you warm up for 20 to 30 minutes and the actual editing process should take you around 1 to 3 hours. Our brain works in cycles and after approximately 3 hours of a straight focus on one task will make us very exhausted. That's why there's this Pomodoro technique that can be really helpful for keeping your cycles in control. Focus is really important when it comes to speed and efficiency. Stop watching your video. This is what happens. You've edited a scene and thinking, wow, it's so great, let's watch it again. Then you add a music track and watch it again, then again, and again, and you wasted two hours before you know it. Please stop doing this. At first, focus on getting the work done and watch your video again only when it's necessary. Create a process, and by that I mean create your own process. Don't just edit your video from start to finish, create different steps or levels to follow every time you edit a video. For example, step number one, cut all your A roll. Step number two, cut all your B roll. Step number three, mix A roll with B roll. Step number four, add music and sound effects. Step number five, add graphics and color grading. And you can divide these steps even more if you want to, but the point is that it's easier for our brains to understand the simple tasks which leads to efficiency and keeps you away from procrastination. So divide your video editing process into small simple tasks and the next thing you know your video is done and ready to upload. And it is also very important to watch this video to learn more about editing. Smash the like button if you like the video and I will see you in the next one.